Try It Tuesday with Jen and Cody on 99.3 Rewind Radio. Hey, it's Jen and Cody down here for Try It Tuesday, and we figured for this one we should try and learn about something that we should definitely never try. It should be left to the professionals. Uh, we're here at the 911 Dispatch Center uh, with Christine. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, so what is it that you do here at Dispatch? Well, I'll start off that I wanted to say that we're actually at the backup center and we're going to do a mock scenario. Um, we're, I'm one of 12 full-time IFF fire dispatchers and we dispatch for about 100 departments in five wow. regional districts. So it's the regional districts of Fort Fraser, Fort George, uh, Caribou Regional District, Balkan Chaco, Kinematstikin, and then we also dispatch a little part, well not so little, but a regional district of Central Kootenays. Now, when you do get one of these calls, uh, what's it like on your guys' end? Because, I mean, from everyone else's, you know what to do, call 911. What happens at the other end of the line? Uh, that's a really great question, actually. Uh, first, when you do call 911, it's answered by a primary answering point. And then if you ask for fire, you're going to get us in Prince George. Uh, if you ask for uh, ambulance or police, you'll get those dispatch centers. Uh, but when you do, yeah, so you'll be transferred to us and uh, we'll ask you, uh, the most important thing is where. Where mm -hmm. are you? So it's really good to know um, if, you, you know, when you're at your house, if you call from your landline, we can see on our computer system. But if you're on a cell phone, it's really important to know where you are. So if you're out at Paderni and you're on the trails, make sure you tell, you know where, which trail you're on so you can tell the dispatcher where you are. Here we're going to do a mock scenario. We're going to do a vehicle fire. Vehicle and totally fire. not a real call, right? Not a real call. Because we're making him do this. Okay, <laughs> and the, and the vehicle, we picked the vehicle fire because it's something that's very visible. Uh, we'll get a ton of nine one one calls on it. Um, yeah, so. Nothing too complicated, though. All right, All right. nothing <laughs> too complicated. Just being responsible for getting dispatched to a vehicle fire. All <laughs> right, right, let's do All this right. for Try It Tuesday. All right. Fire emergency for what area? Okay, whereabouts are you? Okay, so you're at 11117 11 Avenue in Prince George. Okay, and what are you seeing there? Okay, so you're saying it's close to the building? What kind of vehicle is it? Okay, a little golf. Is there any, do you see anyone around there? Call one, stand by for a vehicle fire. Prince George Engine 51, respond to a vehicle fire at 1111 7th Avenue. Is this a vehicle fire? 1111 7th Avenue, cross streets of George and Dominion, operational channel 1. Fire emergency for what area? Prince George, okay. Uh, where in Prince George? Does she see any buildings? There's a Walmart in the area. Are are you on a are you in a parking lot or are you on the highway? You passed the save on. Okay, so you're in yeah you're in College Heights. Uh, you just passed the save on. Are you still on the highway or did you turn? Ask her if she's is she safe? Is she in any danger? Uh, are you safe? Are you away from the vehicle? So what would have been happening there? So you see how these calls are coming through? Yeah, yeah. So other people missing. other people are calling in. Your partner would mm -hmm. be answering those nine one one calls, but mm -hmm. they can't obviously keep up with all of them, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean they will. They'll quickly get to mm -hmm. them, but you can see that how hectic and chaotic it can feel. Uh I, okay. <laughs> yeah, I, w I worked at a fast food restaurant that had a screen like this right. when you were late to an order. It is a very different deal when it's, oh, this is an emergency. Right, like the right. pressure is on, my exactly. goodness. Well, thank you very much. This has been another uh, Try It Tuesday here at 911 Dispatch. And of course, it is uh, 
911 Dispatch Week? Yeah, we call it the um, National Public Safety Telecommunicators Week. And of course, I want to celebrate my coworkers in fire dispatch mm -hmm. and also uh, police and ambulance dispatchers. But one of the, or some of the people that are forgotten are our radio techs, our IT services, um, our fire chiefs near and far, and as well as our regional districts and city other support staff. Jen and Cody on 99.3 Rewind Radio.